Hey, welcome to another episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Drinking a beer tonight, I've heard a lot of good things about. This is the Victory Prima Pils, a refined Pilsner beer for natural enjoyment. Uh, kind of a long description on the side. You know, I'm not going to read the descriptions anymore. You can always pause it and read it if you want. I just like to... I always like to, to read them to see if what I get matches with what they said. Um... This is a pretty, you know, I don't say hype, but it's just a beer with a good reputation. Uh, a lot of people say it's better than the Sam Adams Noble Pills, which I didn't, thought was okay. So I'm hoping it's better than that. It was in both the 500 Beers book by Zach Avery and the 1001 Beers You Must Try Before You Die. Again, you can pause and read it if you want. The thing I like about doing Pilsners is it gives me a chance to use my Chad's Beer Pilsner glass. Alrighty, well that is a yellow beer. It's like a super fresh banana skin yellow. It's not like the typical golden pale straw color. Um, it almost looks more like a wheat beer. I mean, wow, look at all that carbonation. Not much of a head on there, about a finger. It's a uh, bright, bright white, fluffy, soapy. It definitely smells like a lager. Like a lot of the craft lagers, they're brewed with so so much ale character that they kind of smell like ales. But this one, definitely in the lager. I'm getting some kind of graininess. Maybe like something like, I don't say skunky, but something leaning towards that. And as far as I know, this is a fresh bottle. It says enjoy by October 2011, so it should be. Um... Yeah, so I mean like kind of a grassy, grassy kind of smell, you, you tend to get in a lot of pilsners there, it smells very light. Um, I try not to put too much emphasis on aroma, so let's give it a taste. Huh. Well, after one swig, one good swig, I'm not sure I think this beer lives up to the hype. Uh, it, it's drinking like... It's drinking like what it is. I, th I believe this is a Czech Pilsner or German Pilsner. I, you know, I try not to get too hung up on all these niche styles. It's just, you know, it's a Pilsner. It's a it's a light lager. And it definitely tastes like a lager. Like the nose, I'm getting kind of that kind of grainy taste to it. Not as, like, foul or sour as you would get, like, in a macro lager. It has a nice sweetness on the back end, though. Even though it's super carbonated, or at least it was, like it's not a crisp beer in the mouth. There's a little bit of like lemon or lemon grass or lemon peel in there. Not citrusy like an IPA would be. Like this is like totally different types of hops on on this beer. Um, you know, it's like it's like a a pilsner just with like. A slight lemony finish, which is where it's getting like a little bit of sweetness in there. I would say it's refreshing while it's in the mouth, but as soon as I swallow, like it's like a slight dryness. It's leaving like this kind of chalky aftertaste. Um, yeah, so far to say I'm not as impressed as I thought I was going to be. So we'll take a break. Come back with my final thoughts on the Victory Prima Pills. Oh, hey, I'm back. Finishing up the Victory Prima Pills. Um, i got to say I'm kind of indifferent to this beer. I mean, it didn't live up to the to the hype or the good reputation or whatever, but it's not like it's like a terrible beer. It's not a beer I'd give a thumbs down to, but it's not a beer that I'd be like, hey, this is a great Pilsner. But, I mean, I guess it's just, if you saw the FAQ... You know, I said, Pilsners, I think, are, like, my least favorite style of beer. So, yeah, I'm biased. But we're all biased. But, uh, you know, that's a subject for another, sir. I'm not going to get into that now. As for the Victory Prima Pils, you know, it's an okay beer. Um, I think it's a situational kind of beer. In the summer, at a barbecue, this would be really refreshing. But just drinking it now, when I get to examine it for what it is... It's it's really not like it's refreshing when it's in the mouth, but like there's not a whole lot of flavor there. Like except like a little bit of lemon peel, like a touch of spice in there. Otherwise, it's just kind of 
so generic tasting. And what's really annoying about it is like it's finishing with this dry, chalky aftertaste that lingers for like, not forever, but for enough to notice. You know, a beer like this should finish clean, and it's, it's not. Um, that being said, it's a, I'm not going thumbs up or thumbs down, I'm going thumbs sideways, middle of the road, 5 out of 10 <laughs> for the Victory Prima Pills, you know, average beer. Um, if you like Pilsners, you'll probably like this, but if you don't, you probably won't. Oh, I don't know. So that does it for this overly generic episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's Beer Reviews. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.